All right, let me do my best President Trump impersonation. So uh, no makeup, no jewelry, giraffe neck Rachel Maddow is doing a show, <laughs> this show last night. My, my sister gets mad at me when I call people names, but I'm just having fun with it. She does have a giraffe neck. She doesn't wear makeup, and she doesn't wear jewelry. And she should, by the way, because she's on national television. I'm talking about Rachel Maddow. She has this show last night, and she says... She's not taking President Trump's speech. Do you know why? Roll clip one. Is making remarks tonight um, from his home in Florida. As far as we can tell, and what we were prepared for here is that this is basically a campaign speech in which he is repeating his same lies and allegations against his perceived enemies. It is just getting started. Um, so far, he's just giving his normal list of grievances. We don't consider that necessarily newsworthy, and there's a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. So uh, our deal with you is that we will monitor these remarks. If he does say anything newsworthy, we will turn them around and report on that right away. But uh, uh, for now, just know that it's happening and we're not taking it. Not, uh, what did she say? Knowingly broadcast untrue things. <laughs> they will not do that. This is crazy. Um, all right. Rachel Maddow. Um, let's, let's play a little clip of her broadcasting something we now know is very untrue about the vaccines. Cut to... Instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person to person, spreading and spreading, sickening some of them, but not all of them. And the ones that it doesn't sicken don't know they have it. And then they give it to even more people because they didn't recognize they were right. Instead of the virus being able to hop from person to person to person, potentially mutating and becoming more virulent and drug resistant along the way. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. <laughs> no, it doesn't. In fact, if you've been vaccinated three times, you're four times more likely to get COVID. And we later found out that the vaccinated people were spreading this thing more than the unvaccinated people were. So total lie and proven to be a lie, by the way. Um, she talked about Russia. Of course she did. She was on MSNBC. But this is a woman who apparently doesn't tell lies on MSNBC. Cut three. Russian intelligence attacked us in 2016 to help the Trump campaign win that election. We now know the Trump campaign secretly gave their own data to Russian intelligence in the middle of that attack, which again, presumably helped what the Russians were doing. What's the definition of collusion again? Not just passively benefiting from somebody else's crime, but actively helping them commit it? It was a hoax paid for by the Clinton campaign. None of it was true. Every investigation came out phony, phony, phony. There was no collusion, collusion, collusion. Rachel Maddow laid another big fat lie on all of us. Oh, the Steele dossier was part of that phony hoax. It was made up, by the way, paid Four by Hillary Clinton. Cut four. It has long been fascinating to me that Republicans and the Trump White House have focused on Christopher Steele and the Steele dossier as if it is embarrassing or bad somehow that that document and his work might in any way have been a predicate for the larger Russia investigation and ultimately the special counsel. I mean, honestly, bits and pieces of the dossier keep getting proven true all the time. Nothing in it has been conclusively disproven at all. All of it has been disproven. All of it. Name me Rachel Maddow. One bits and pieces of it that was proven true. There's not one bit or piece of it that was proven true. Yet you go on last night and say you don't condone lies on MSNBC when MSNBC has built an entire failing business on lies. This is insanity, okay? Should I keep going? I think I should because I have so much fun calling Giraffe Neck Maddow out. Cut five on J6. His supporters pulled off a violent armed insurrection attacking the U.S. Capitol, and then they all just walked away to go tell their war stories about it and brag about it. The president 
offended some of the more norms respecting members of his party, maybe, but he loves that. He's not out there to win everybody to his side. He's out to destroy the norms of democratic governance so they don't exist anymore, so he can run the country without them. Destroy the norms. All President Trump tried to do was protect the norms. The Democrats are the ones that literally broke apart our entire election system. They concocted a mail-in ballot scheme. It lies about January 6th. There was no insurrection. No one has ever been charged with insurrection, yet they still call it that. Lies, all lies, as Grandpa Minervini used to say. That's what they are coming from the Democrats. I got one more for you. I might as well do it. Uh, cut six, another one on the vaccine. I mean, while he was president, President Trump never encouraged Americans to get vaccinated. Now we know that he himself took the vaccine in secret and never told anyone. What possible benefit was there to him to keep that secret from the public? I mean, think about all the good that could have done. First off, one of my biggest criticisms of President Trump was that he pushed the vaccine. I understand that he believes warp speed was a great feat when it comes to pushing something out to the public in a very quick manner, and it was. But what got pushed out was complete garbage, which is why I believe President Trump was duped, but he did push it. That's another lie from Rachel Maddow. And President Trump still to this day takes heat from all of us for pushing it. But I give him a break because Dr. Fauci's a criminal. Deborah Burks, they're bad news. They help push this. And just to back up myself, okay, if the crew could, the first clip I ran of Rachel Maddow, just put a freeze frame up on there because the best defense for defamation is, of course, the truth. So put that clip up on the screen right there. Now, there is a woman who has a giraffe neck, no jewelry, and very limited makeup, okay? It's not defamatory if it's true, folks. It's not defamatory if it's true. 